Hi, this is Rich Weekly, Boris Thorpe Electric. In this video, I want to show you how to um, locate variables. So we're going to create some variables and actually locate those and assign them uh, to an I.O. card. So we're using this uh, M340 test project. So if I go Tools, Project Browser, I'm going to double click on the variables and show you right now we only have the three that we've created for previous videos to do the motor start stop so what we want to do if I open up our local drop which is the one that has the processor in it we've got these IO cards and we're gonna assign some variables to actually the channels of those cards and show you how that we do that and then they'll actually show up when we go to look at the cards, they'll actually, those variables will show up in the cards. So, tools, project browser. So, if I go look at this variable table right now, none of these variables have an address. So, what we say is that those are variables are unlocated. And now we're going to locate them on the card, be able to use them in the, in the field. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to change the type. We had assigned this type a bool because we're just we were using them to simulate. Now we're actually going to assign them to I/O cards. So the type needs to be an extended bool, which is E bool. An extended bool is uh, it not not only keeps track of an on and off state, but it also keeps track of a transition, so a negative or positive transition. And on our I/O card we have to actually keep track of that so we're going to change these types to ebool so we can assign them to the card we'll do that for all three of them so now that I have the types changed we're going to take the first one of this stop push button and we're going to assign it an address in the input on this first card this DIA 1604 card well, as you can see our we have some addresses here some numbering these are our slot numbers. So the CPU is default. It's always in slot 0. Then this DIA card is in slot 1. The output card's in slot 2. And then the analog cards are in 3 and 4. So if we want to assign an input, we have to uh, go back. We're going to use an IEC. Uh, the structure for an IEC variable, we would say that it's percent sign I for input, zero because it's the local rack, which is the first rack zero. Then we're going to put a dot. It's actually the first card, or it's in slot one. And it's the first point on that card. And again, the M340 starts at zero so if you have a 16 point card it's uh, zero to 15 if you're used to the uh, quantum or the other some of the uh, modicon plc's they start at address one go to 16 the m340 is a zero based so so there we have that stop push button assigned to that address now if i go back and i look at this what we said is percent i because it's an input zero because it's the local one because that card is in the first slot and then zero because it's the first point on that card and you can see now that stop push button actually shows up on there so if we go back here and put the start on the next channel we'd say percent i zero dot one oops 0 0.1.1 .1, okay. 1 would actually be the second point on that card and then we're going to assign the output outputs or percent Q okay. they don't use O because Q or O and 0 look the same so they use percent Q 0 because it's still the local drop that has a CPU but this card is in slot 2 and we're going to use the first point Okay, so we've actually located those variables on an address now. 
And if we go look at those, so if we look at the DIA card now, we see the stop and the start push button. And if we go look at the DRA card, there's our motor one. So we've assigned those variables that we created in an earlier project. And we can go and load those on the simulator as well. Uh, the biggest difference, just a note here with the eBool and Bool type, if I have an eBool type sign, assigned to it, when I load it in the simulator, I'm going to have to force it and unforce it to where if it was a Bool type, I could just use memory and change, change the types. But uh, I'll show you that in some other uh, videos down the road here. So uh, thanks for your attention, and we'll talk to you later.